well, I wanted to record something as instantly as possible regarding my anxiety and something that's kind of triggering it and we are doing some like just housework cleanup, remodeling of furniture, rearranging of furniture, whatever, and um, you never think about what you give up to live with your anxiety or depression. You don't ever take that into your ledger. Some people do, you know, I they don't go out as much or, you know, they can't drink or not enough time with family and there's there there are things so um i digress there are a lot of things that you trade to live with your anxiety or depression and sometimes they're based on core deep values that you have either as a person a woman a man a family a mother a father when anxiety tells you you can't do that anymore, it hurts. It really hurts. And and it's really hard to swallow because it's, it's a big win for anxiety. It's a big lose for me and for the strength that I thought I had and I didn't. And my experience right now is I was homeschooling my children. So many years ago in homeschool. It was fantastic. It was great. I loved it. We did amazing. I loved being with my children every single day. They were, were my my purpose. And then After a nervous breakdown, when anxiety doesn't let you function and depression doesn't give you the energy to try and function over the depression, you have to start cutting things out. And and my my kids, I had to I had to let go of that. I could no longer homeschool because I was in treatment every day, all day long. But how was I going to homeschool? That wasn't an option. And I looked really hard for other ways of going about doing it, but my treatment was so strict that there was just no way I could homeschool anymore. And my house is a, a, home, a school. Like, I, this room is now empty because I've taken everything down, but this was our room had our posters, it had our, all of our charts, all of our books, and that's what I'm doing now, or just did, is I packed up our last semester's worth of books because I can't homeschool her right now. I have to be in treatment, and I have to get better and get healthy so that I can be a healthy example, and they're not being, like, they're not sacrificing, I'm not taking something away from them, it's, it's, it's me, it's my value and my, my mother failure is what it feels like. And then I have younger children who have never been in daycare or babysat, and I had to put them in full day daycare. First of all, it's very, very expensive, so that was a huge strain. It's a huge strain on our family. And then someone else was taking care of my children, and I felt like such a failure. I felt like anxiety was just hunched up in the corner, laughing at me and saying, I was couldn't do it. You're not strong enough. You're not, you know, you, you don't have the control to do it. You don't have the strength to do it. And it took two months, at least, to get over, not get over, but to 
be able to follow through with dropping my kids off at school and at daycare. Um, but that situation itself has caused many panic attacks. I'm in a constant state of worry because I don't have them. But I know that life happens and I can't be there all the time, but I feel like this wasn't my choice. I feel like this was anxiety and depression and they made the decision for me and I I had no option but to do that, to give up something that I treasured and valued so much as homeschooling and caring for my own children in my home and raising them myself. and. And then it was hard to say goodbye to all of our connections, all of our co-ops and groups that we did things with because I would be gone all day now. I couldn't participate in these things. My kids couldn't participate in these things that they were participating in with their friends during the day because they were going to be somewhere else now. And that was really hard because I just, I didn't tell anybody I'm going to treatment. I didn't tell anybody anything like that. I said, I'm, I have class. And I still say I have class. And even people that know, I just say I have class. It just sounds easier to swallow. But I just boxed up her last group of books. And her curriculum for this next semester and it's really hard it's really hard to say no because it's hard to remind myself that anxiety is not winning that I'm winning, that I'm stronger that I'm making the choice to make myself healthy so that I can be better for my children and those negative thoughts keep trying to turn it around and say that I'm weak and that I gave up and I couldn't do it all and that anxiety wins and I lose and that's, that's that can't be the case. That can't. It, ha it has to be that I'm strong enough to do it. I'm strong enough to put them in daycare. I'm strong enough to put my daughter in public school and I'm strong enough to go through this treatment and get healthy and get back to them in a better state. Because you know that what's the saying you can only you can only give what you have can't give what you don't you know like I was running way on empty way on fumes and I'm thankful for being in treatment I'm thankful for my youngest being in an amazing preschool I'm thankful for the help that we've received to pay for that preschool um. I'm thankful for my daughter to be so flexible and so adaptable and just such an amazing kid to just go from one day homeschool, one day building school, one day we're moving here, one day we're going here. She's just awesome. She really just goes with the flow. I don't know where she gets from because I freak out all the time about different changes. and she doesn't care, you know, she's just, whatever, mom, it's fine, I'll go to building school, then maybe I can come back home, then maybe I can go to building school, and I'm just like, decisions are so easy for you, how did that happen, how did you get so understanding and flexible, because I'm not, maybe that's what she needs. But, you know, it's just a, a trigger I'm going through right now, and I'm working to not have a panic attack and breathing. I am talking about it. Um, I almost grabbed my journal, and I thought, you know, it's kind of quiet in the house right now, so I'm going to live journal. Um, I am kind of bummed about a few things, um, more and less my social aspect of life. I kind of don't have, but um, you know, it's the holiday weekend and it's Sunday, so everyone's kind of you know hanging out with their 
family and significant others and whatnot. So it's not like they have some kind of anxiety dar, or, you know, radar or whatever where they can be like, oh, I should probably check on Jen because she freaked me out, you know. But I do good. I'm, I'm breathing. I'm video journaling. I'm doing laundry. I'm vacuuming. You know, I'm just trying to stay busy and look at it as something that needs to get done and picked up and put away and it's still really hard and I'm trying not to cry and so if I cry I will log back on because that will make me stop crying um, I think the emotions that I would attach to my situation right now would be sad um, I'm definitely sad that I'm not homeschooling. I am fearful that she or any of my children will not get as not as good of an education curriculum wise, but just as cared for. I mean a teacher with thirty two kids and a mom with three, you know, I'm they're gonna get a little more attention. So I'm fearful of them getting lost in the system and I'm sad of having to let go even if it's just for this season I I'm letting go now and I'm letting go of the pressure that I was putting on myself to get healthy fast so I can get my kid out of school and homeschool again and that's not fair to me or to her and I'm working on me and I'm taking this time to do it so I just wanted to let everyone know that watches all three of you that I had a big issue happen and I used coping skills and I got through it <laughs> so far and I'm on the other side so you know, things can happen any day, and I am glad that I have somewhere to speak out to. Um, it does feel like processing. It does feel like I'm getting it out just by talking to my YouTube video. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to get back to chores, which include putting the box in the garage, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that or not, but I'm going to try. So, thanks for listening, if you made it all the way through. Um, feel free to ask any questions, share any comments, or 